I don't remember Messi's being this far. Slim, I thought this was a shortcut. It is. We cut through McBurgers, Earl's Jr., and Pizza World. Two more restaurants and we'll be there. I can't wait to see Santa face to face so I can tell him what I want. You don't need to see him face to face. Because with your big mouth, he can hear you all the way in the North Pole. D-Rock, they ought to call you Mazzola. Why do you call me that, Dee Dee? Because your jokes are corny. Oh, yeah? Just for that, I ain't gonna let you play with my new Mega G-Bot that I'm getting for Christmas. So? G-Bots are stupid. No, they ain't. They're hot. I think I can freestyle about them. Hit it, dirty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm building a snowman with my new G-Bot toy. His name is Mega G and he's full of Christmas joy. Because it's Christmas time, I'm busting Christmas rhymes with a flow so sick I can stop on a... Quarter? It's dime, stupid! I'm so excited for baby Louise. It's his first time meeting Santa. I hope he's old enough to understand. Who are you fooling? Baby Louise is so old, he knew the little drummer boy when he was just taking lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Attention shoppers and shoplifters. The mall will be closing in three hours. And they ain't paying me no overtime, so you gots to go. And to all you parents, please have your children ask Santa for toys and toys only. If it's a doll or a train set, Santa will get it. But braces, medical insurance, and bunk beds is something you should provide. Now I gots to go. So Merry Christmas, Happy Harmonicas, and Felix Trinidad. I'm through. I don't know what all the hype is about Santa Claus. Everyone knows he really doesn't exist. d -Rock, why you hate on Santa like that? Who you think makes all those cool Christmas toys for us? China and Korea. Yeah, but who do you think buys and delivers them? Our parents, that's who. I don't know about you, but I ain't never seen my parents come down the chimney. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not, but it looks like you sure did. Why don't you go wash? Girl, I'm a naturalist. That washing stuff will take away my natural essences. Don't hate on my little girl, it'll make you sour. Yeah. Ew, Dirty. How can anybody have a white Christmas with you around? That's what I'm talking about. Why it always gotta be a white Christmas? How come Santa don't come down the chimney on Kwanzaa Eve, leaving bean pies for all the little brothers and sisters? My man is so conscious. <laughs> oh, D-Rod, this little itty bitty boy just cut me in line. And when I told him don't do that, he said, I don't care. Tell your brother, I'll knock him out. Who said that? Him? Uh-uh. Him. I hear you gonna kick my butt. No, 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 of course not. You got it all wrong. I didn't say I would kick your butt. I said we should let that nice kid cut. Are you calling me a liar? Because I don't like liars. My mama lied to me about the tooth fairy. So I knocked out all my teeth. Then she lost a job and didn't leave me no money. So I was angry and toothless. And when I get toothless, I fight. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> this boy made me punch his flesh off, Mama! Dee Dee, why can't you ever pick a fight with someone I can beat? Cause it wouldn't be fun to watch. Later, big bro. <sighs> me and all the animal lovers have a bone to pick with you, Mr. Kringle. Those poor sweet reindeers are being dragged all over the world with harnesses gouged into their forehead. You are in for a major protest this year, mister. But aren't you wearing a fur? It's the dead of winter. What do you expect, for me to freeze to death? My turn! Oh, can't feel my leg. Circulation cutting off. Gang green setting in. What would you like, young man? I just want Charlie's Chocolate Factory. The VHS or the DVD? Neither. I want Charlie's whole chocolate factory. Oh, and a glass of milk. d Ra, aren't you going to sit on Santa's lap? No. Santa's for kids, like Gavin. Santa, I want a job for my daddy and a smile for my mommy. Ever since my dad lost his job, she's been crying a lot. As for me, I just want one little toy. A G-Bot. And here, I brought you something. 
Now remember, don't open it till Christmas. Qué lindo. Did you see Gavin give that gift to Santa? That was so sweet. Man, that's pretty dumb if you ask me. Well, nobody asked you, Ebenezer Scrooge. Whatever. All I know is it's better to receive than to give. You got it all wrong, D-Rock. It's better to give than to receive. Oh, yeah? Hey! So how does it feel, Mr. Giver? <laughs> Point taken. Where are you going, little bum? I think the homeless shelter's closed today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your family is so poor, you fry pigeons for the breadcrumbs. <laughs> I'm not poor. My dad's just out of work right now. Yeah, he's out of work, out of food, and out of heat. <laughs> Won't you leave him alone, Freddy? Ain't nobody talking about them train tracks on your teeth. <laughs> oh, so you want to play the Duddens, huh? Your head's so big, I can see what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Your teeth are so spaced out, your toothbrush has to map quest directions to find the next tooth. <laughs> yeah, Franklin Face, your teeth so dirty, your braces got cavities on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? It was funny. Didn't let him talk to you like that, Sean. Come on, let's go. It was your joke. Thanks for helping you guys. Come on, we'll walk you home. Oh, no, that's okay. I just live right up the street. I can make it fine from here. But thanks anyway. Yeah, girl. I got 40 pumpkin pies for $2. Now, they were full of fungus, but that didn't stop me. I just collected that mold and made me some penicillin. I knocked out Dee Dee's flu and made Dee Rock some dessert. Talk about saving a little bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, girl, I got to go. Mira. It was nice meeting you. How many times I got to tell you Juan don't live here? Okay. And a gracias to you, too. And where have you two been? We stopped by the mall to see Santa Claus. And did you tell him what gifts you want him to bring you this year? Now, some people don't believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> D-Rock. Now, D-Rock. How do you expect to get gifts if you don't tell Santa what you want? I already gave you my list last week, Mama. Anyway, it's time for Mama to decorate the Christmas tree. D-Rock, you go get the decorations. Didi, you go get the popcorn and string. Then Mama gonna do the rest. Ooh, my stories are on. I told you! I'm in love with her! And nothing is gonna stop this feeling! Oh, no, he didn't! Okay, Mama, we got the decorations, the popcorn, and the string. Ooh, that's good. Now take everything out the box and line it up around the tree. And Mama's gonna do the rest. Okay, Mama, everything is out of the boxes and lined up neatly around the tree. Good. Now string up that popcorn and put the lights, candy cane, and Christmas bulbs on the tree, and Mama will be there in one minute. Okay, Mama, I put the popcorn, lights, and candy on the tree. Ooh, wee! That tree is beautiful! Mama really outdid herself this time. That tree is really saying something. Yeah, it's saying you should have helped. Santa Claus. Yeah, right. What do you think you're doing? Uh, nothing, Mama. I was just peeking at your gift. Don't try to lie to me, boy. You got that same look you had when you told me that lie about your dog eating your homework. But he did. Mm, mm, mm. I just love me some homework. Mm. Since you already done ruined the surprise, go on ahead, open it. But, Ma... Go on! Oh, wow! A G-Bot! That's the last one they had in stock. I had to put a four-year-old in a full Nelson for that. Thank you, Mama. 
I love you, Mama. I love you too, baby. All right, everybody. All aboard the Boo Crew Express. Is everybody okay? <laughs> Not me. Ah, oh, Lord. That become me. My sneakers is scuffed. What do you mean we're not going to have Christmas this year? Why not? I've been a good boy all year long. Well, son, I just don't think Santa's going to come because your father didn't... Uh... Give Santa our new address when we moved and, and he doesn't know where to find us. Right, honey? Right, honey. <sighs> <laughs> Don't cry, Mom. We'll just go back to the mall and get Santa the right address. Then everything will be all right. You'll see. Did you hear that, you guys? Gavin's not going to have a Christmas. I can't believe Gavin's not going to have a Christmas. Uh-huh. All we gotta do is give Santa Claus his new address. How many times do I have to tell you? There is no such thing as Santa Claus. His parents only told him that so they don't hurt his feelings. Whatever, D-Rock. Just because you don't believe in Santa Claus doesn't mean Gavin shouldn't have a Christmas. You know, you're right, Dee Dee. And I have a few ideas already in mind. <laughs> Good evening, Mrs. Robinson. For a small donation, we would like to offer... Good evening, sir. For a small donation... Hey, Mrs. Horan, for a small donation... We made... a dollar fifty. A dollar fifty? We can't buy any gifts with that. You're right, Dee Dee, but we can still give him a nice Christmas. Dee Dee and I will go to Cheapies and pick up a tree, and we'll all meet at Gavin's at 7 o'clock. Excuse me, sir. We're looking for a really nice tree for my friend. What can I get for this? <laughs> a dollar fifty. All right, all right. I got the perfect tree for you. But it's bald on one side, and it's still burning. Well, I'm sorry, kid. A dollar fifty is just not gonna get you old Tannenbaum, all right? Oh, don't worry about that. With my hairdresser skills, I can work with anything. Remember how bald headed Mazina was before I got a hold of her? She, she got more tracks than the Long Island Railroad. Ew! What in the world? <laughs> I did that. Hey there, Mr. Iverson. Would you like. No, I would not. I already bought some of your stale candy, son. I bought some once, twice, three times you're begging! But. Do these look like the eyes of someone who's easily fooled? Right here. This one. Over here. Right here. No, Mr. Iverson. It's just D-Rock and Dee Dee. You know, from school. Oh, hey, kids. When'd you get here? I didn't see you walk in. Happy Kwanzaa, boy. Ooh, you might want to ask old St. Nick for some lotion, son. Your hands are really dry. You're ashing up, boy. Uh, Principal Iverson, we're over here. Ah ha! Tricky little fella, aren't you? Why don't you help the old Eister get his Christmas tree to the car? Now, who in the world readjusted my mirrors? Darn Christmas pranksters! Ah. Oh. Oh, that's better. Easy on the eyes. Well, kids, happy Kwanzaa and be safe. Want to Wazuri? I saw three ships come, sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. Hey, yo, how are we going to get into little Gavin's house? We're going to climb through the open window. Hey, isn't that illegal? No, it's only illegal if you take stuff. We're leaving stuff, so it's different. Yeah, besides, he ain't got nothing to take. And from the look of thing, I see they natural just like me. Yeah. Only question is, who's gonna climb through the window? 
All right, all right. I guess I'll do it. Since I'm the smallest. This is exploitation. Hey, yo, D-Rock, give me a boost. <coughs> Oops, my bad. Too much pumpkin pie. <laughs> wait, wait, yo, uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Does anybody have any grease? <laughs> Looks like it's time for daddy do some daddy work. Get on, get on, get on, get on, get it. Okay, I'm good. I was close, son. We tried our best, and sometimes that's all you can do. Don't worry, baby. I promise you, next year we will... I mean, Santa will make sure you have the best Christmas ever. Now remember, son, when we get inside, I want you to go right to bed. You know, we have early mass and Christmas dinner at the mission. Okay, Dad. Did you? Wow, look at all the gifts. And they got my name on them. Can I open them? Please, 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 huh, huh, please? Go ahead, son. Oh, boy, look, Mommy. It's a pair of sneakers and a dirty leg. Cool. Look, a skateboard with an ice pack and a sling. This is awesome. It's a bean pie, a goofy, and an apple pick. Right on. Wow! A G-Bot! This is the best Christmas ever! It sure is, son. excitement on Gavin's face gave me a warm feeling inside. It's true. Giving is better than receiving. I'm really proud of you, big bro. You giving up your G-Bot like that is the true meaning of Christmas. Yeah, and it was really nice of Mom to invite Gavin and his family over for Christmas dinner. Well, bro, I gotta get some sleep, because tomorrow's Christmas and I gotta look cute when I open up my presents from Santa Claus. I told you, Santa Claus doesn't exist. Anyway, D-Rock, I guess the only person who can convince you that Santa exists is the man upstairs himself. Course there's a Santa! Who you think got me these Santa? They got my son those $150 pair of sneakers he wanted. And guess who got the missus of Oprah Winfrey tickets when well, she wouldn't even return my phone call? Boy, you better go and get that man his props. I believe in me some Saint Nick. Next time, you gonna be down the Easter Bunny. You can't be upsetting him. You know that boy sugar bad. Shoot, I'm writing my list and checking it twice right now. Now where was, oh, yeah. my L Green box set. A flat screen TV for my clowns. My TV off so I can catch that dancer with the stars. That Emmett Smith got a cold two-step on him. Watch out, man! Now go on, take your rockhead self to sleep. Oh, you about to make me miss Rudolph the Red Nose Ranger, boy. I love that show. <laughs> a Charlie in a box and an elf won't be a dentist. <laughs> this boy is crazy. <laughs> Merry Christmas, babies. Not too loud. You'll wake your father. Whoa! I got a beauty salon. Oh, snap. A gossip diary. Oh, and a cute little baby doll tea. Oh, no Santa didn't. 
I got a pair of boom blades. I can skate and listen to music at the same time. Ah, dang. Go on, D-Rock. Open up your presents. Oh, wow, look, I got socks. Would you look at that? Okay. Oh, boy, what's this? Black socks. Well, you can never have too many pairs of socks. Thanks, Mom. All right, kids. Time for me to have to clean up this here mess. Mama got to do everything around here. Y'all just go get the trash bags and the broom and the cleaning products and put some plastic gloves on your hands, and then Mama will come do the rest. Hold on a second. D-Rock, what's that over there? I don't know. Probably another pair of socks. Boy, I'm going to sock you upside your head. Now, what is that? I think it's a gift. Hey, it has my name on it. Oh, wow! A Mega G-Bot! <laughs> Merry Christmas, D-Rock! Merry Christmas! Up in the way, right now! Ha! Yeah! I think my boy D-Rock learned a lesson. Him and the crew wrote a song about it. Here it goes. Check it out. Boo Crew! It took for someone else to have nothing for me to learn something. Now I'm filled with joy, your boy had me jumping up and down, give away my toys. I would never imagine that little Gavin Nice kid would do what he did, buying Santa Claus a Christmas gift. He can have my G-Bots, my GI, and all of my robots, and my bike, skateboard, board games. Picture of Jay-Z in the picture frame, with the signature of his name, it's the best Christmas ever. All of my friends together outside in the snow, so cold is the weather, however, it's love that's keeping us together It works risking your soul Climbing through a window Even getting stuck to change someone's luck Makes me feel good, it makes me feel glad To give someone something that they never had 